Does math tend to be a point of frustration in your homeschool? Do tears usually develop during math class from your kids or even from you? Well, if so, you may want to try CTC Math. It's an online math program that we have found and really like, and it has taken away those tears in our homeschool math time and made it such an easier part of our day. Hi, I'm Christy with Homeschooling in Progress. And in this video, I'm going to kind of share with you some reasons why we like CTC math and how it works for our family. And I'm also going to give you a walkthrough to show you how easy it is to use as a parent and um, also give you a little walkthrough as to how easy it is to use as a student as well. Okay, so for our family, math was always something that was hard for me to do in our homeschool day, not because of the teaching itself. I absolutely love math and I love teaching it. You know, I, math is great. <laughs> My kids, unfortunately, don't really feel the same way. And so for me loving it and wanting them to love it <laughs> and them not loving it, it was frustrating. They wouldn't understand it. And so they had a lot of frustration. It was difficult for me with them having the frustration, you know, because it came so easily to me. And so it really just, it was really hard for us to do a lot of the textbook math. And so when I found online math programs, I was like, whoa, let's check these out. And so I'm so glad we did because online math has worked so well for us. With CTC math, I can have my kids do math at the same time which I couldn't do when I was teaching the, you know, when I was teaching the lessons, I would have to teach one lesson at a time, get them going while I taught the next lesson. And then, you know, if you do that as well, you probably know that the first kid has questions while you're trying to teach the second kid. And it just, you know, it's just, it was not a fun part of our day. But with CTC math, I can have my kids work on math at the same time. And then I can just kind of be there in case they have any questions and kind of see how they're doing. And, and instead of having to be the one teaching it, I can just kind of walk around and make sure they're doing what they're doing and that, the, and that they understand it. And so CTC math has saved time in our day. It has definitely helped me create that simple homeschool day that I strive to have. It, you know, not having to do the teaching also helps with my younger child, my preschooler. You know, if you have a preschooler younger at home, you know that they don't always sit nicely and play in the room. And when you're distracted is when they <laughs> like to, you know, take off and, and get into mischief. And so with CTC math, you know, if he runs off, I can follow him and know that my kids are still doing their math. And so it really has just made for a lot less frustration in our homeschool. It has saved us time and it is so simple to use. And in fact, um, I'm, let's go ahead now and take a look and see how easy it is to use. So through this homepage here, I want to just point out real quick that you can do a free trial, which is really great. If you have not tried online math before, you might be kind of hesitant to sign up for something that you have to pay for and you may or may not like. So it's really nice to give it a try. Um, with a free trial because then you can see is this something that's going to work for you as the homeschool mom? Is this something that's going to work for your kids as well? And so, um, you know, make sure you give that free trial a go and see how it works for your family. I can tell you it works very well for ours. I am very glad that we have tried online math. Okay, so once you have registered, then you just go to the parent login. Your kids, when they, and they go to the student login and type in their own password that you can set up when you set up the account. Um, but as the homeschool parent, because I'm going to walk you through that, we're just going to go ahead and do the parent login, and then you will sign in with the email and password that you registered with. Once you do that, then you come up to this screen here. And this is just kind of your basic information screen for your membership. And I set up a little test account. So I want to go ahead and show that right now and what I did was I set up to have a passing grade of 80 for this student and you can do any amount you want maybe you don't want them to do less than a 90 or maybe you're going to give a little more leeway and they can have a 70 or higher so you can kind of decide 
what a passing grade is for each lesson. And if they do not pass that the first time, they have to continue to attempt that lesson again and again until they get over an 80. And um, which is really nice because then they can't just, you know, kind of do it and forget, okay, it's done. Doesn't matter that I got them, almost all of them wrong, I'm done. No, they have to do it until they get it right. And I really like that as the homeschool parent, I have control as to what I want that passing grade to be. Okay, and then I signed up my test child for third grade. You can see there's kindergarten all the way up to calculus. So, you know, definitely. And the nice thing about this is, is that you are not tied down just to that grade. So if you, you know, maybe your third grader is working very well, they're very gifted in math, and they're going to move on to fourth grade or even fifth grade during that, you can move them up or back even if you need to, um, to try out some different uh, lessons for their ability. So it's really nice that you have that flexibility to move them around. So we're just going to stick with third grade here. And uh, what we're going to do is, so I'm showing you as the homeschool parent what I do. So I'm going to go back to tasks here. And I'm going to add a task. Now, like I said, I like to do hours for the week. You can do up to 20 lessons in one task. And I'm going to show you real quick why I only go one week at a time. And like I mentioned, I usually do hours around 3 p.m. Not that we go that late on Fridays, but it just gives us plenty of time to make sure we get our lessons done. Okay, and then let's just label this. I'll just do week, week one. Okay, so this right here is what I really love about CTC Math and why I do just one week at a time for our tasks. Each week after 3 p.m. on Friday, I get a task report that tells me if my children did all of the lessons and if they were done on time, if um, or what, um, how many attempts it took for them to pass. So like that 80% I mentioned that I put on there, if it took them four attempts, it'll tell me it took them four attempts. And so I can see that that is definitely something they need more review on and to make sure they really got it. Um, and it, you know, if it only took them one attempt, then I know that's something they caught pretty quickly. So it's really nice to get that task report each week to know, you know, how my children are doing, especially, you know, as the homeschool parent, even though I'm not teaching them, I still am in control of all of this here, which I do really like. Okay, and then I usually like them to do the lessons in order, so I'll go ahead and click that too. Then you can add your recipients, and I'll just do my little tester kid here, and then you add your lessons. Okay, so then I am going to uh, make sure here that this is clicked. They have to attempt all questions and reach their passing grade to complete the lesson. And then we'll just click on third grade. Usually I just pretty much go in order. You can jump around if you want, but usually I just kind of like to go in order. And um, each week, once they've done the work, when I click back on here, since I just set up the, t the student, they won't show me this now, but this little eye here with the yellow circle behind it, if uh, like next week, if I was to go in and do a new task for this child, it would show me the ones that I've already chosen for this week and that they've already done it. So then I can see where we are and I can just click the next few. So again, it makes it so quick and easy to do this. So like I said, I'm just gonna click the uh, first four. We just do four regular lessons each week. And then I'm gonna show you in just a minute what we do on Fridays. Okay, so like I said, I just clicked the first four problems. You know, maybe if, this expanded notation, maybe we've already done that a lot, and I know that they are fine with that. Then I can always unclick that and maybe choose place value instead. And we could just skip over that lesson. So if there is something you know your kids really understand, then you can skip over it. Or if there's something that you think, mm, I wanna wait a little while before we do that, then you can skip over it as well. And you won't miss it because you can always go back, and if you don't have the I next to it, then you'll know that you never did that lesson. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and go back to the expanded notation. And I'm gonna go up here to save task. Then let me show you what I do on Fridays. On Fridays, we do 
question banks. And this is just kind of a little quiz so that I can see how they did each week. So, you know, maybe they took three attempts to do a lesson on Tuesday, but then when they got to the um, question bank on Friday, they got all of those problems right. Well, then I know that even though they struggled a little bit with the lesson when it was taught, they did understand it by the time, you know, it was time to, you know, review a little bit. So we'll just go ahead and call this week one. We'll do week one test. Okay, so then what I'm going to do for our problems here, I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on the assignments that I gave them for the week. If, say, you're a couple weeks into the school year or further in and you want to do some review on previous lessons that were taught, you can always go through and check, you know, several of the previous ones as well. So you're, you're not just tied down to what you're doing right now. Okay, so we're going to do those four lessons, and you can see up here which ones you've chosen. Go to Presets, and then I can choose how many questions I want the test to have. So, you know, maybe my child, I just, they don't need too many questions, you know, especially first grade or second grader. Maybe I'll just give them 15, 10 or 15. But, you know, perhaps my sixth grader might get 30 questions. So you can kind of, you know, decide right there how you want to do that. 20 is fine for me. You also can choose by minutes. So maybe you just want your child to do 30 minutes of math on a day. And so you can put 30 minutes here or, you know, 20, whatever you want. So we'll just go ahead and go back to the questions. And then you can decide if they're going to be even easier for the difficulty, if they're going to be harder, like more challenging, or you can just kind of have them evenly distributed between easy and hard. And that's usually what I do. Then you generate the questions. And this is so nice here where you really have control over what you are doing here. You can decide, do I want to add more questions like this? Or maybe I just don't like this question, I wanna take it away. So you can kind of customize it even more so than this is on here to how you want it done. And then up at the top here, you'll see it tells me that there are four easy questions out of the 20, eight that are medium difficulty, four that are hard and four that are challenging. And usually that works pretty well for us. I usually like them to have more medium than anything um, with some hard and definitely some challenging thrown in, then also some easy ones just to kind of give them that confidence also as they're doing their work. So then we're gonna save the question bank here. And then I'll go back to the tasks. And uh, let's see, I saved it as week one. Here we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit that to add the question bank. The question bank was, what did I do? Week one test. There we go. So I'll click on that. There we go. And you can see that was added up here to the task. And I'm just gonna go ahead and save the task. I can, I just, I do one child at a time. It takes me about maybe 10 minutes total. And that's with doing the question bank and everything. And that is it. So you can see CTC math is so easy as the homeschool parent. They keep you in the loop with the, um, you know, the weekly progress reports emailed to you or, or however often you choose to have them sent to you and super easy to get it set up. So when they log in, they're going to see that they have tasks, uh, active tasks. So then they're going to click on that and you'll notice just that first one is accessible to them. They can't get to the rest because they have to finish that one first. So then, and it tells them that they have to pass with an 80% to be able to um, finish this lesson. So we'll go ahead and start our task. You can see that with the video, they can sit there and watch the video and it will explain to them, uh, you know, in this lesson, obviously what odds and evens are, but it just goes through and gives them a lesson explanation on what's getting covered that day. And they can go back and watch that as often as they need to. And usually if my children are having problems or they don't get that 80% the first time, then I tell them to go back and to do the lesson, to, to watch that video again. So then once they're done watching the video, then they can go to their questions and then they just put in their answers and hit submit. So you can see also up here, 
it shows the kids task by task or by um, question by question how they're doing with their progress. And it shows what their score is. And again, you can see, uh, you know, the progress bar goes and then it tells them that they got it right. So let's see here, you know, let's get one wrong on purpose here and see what it does. So what's the next odd number after nine? Well, let's put 10. It's going to tell them, nope. And they're gonna tell, it's gonna tell them what the answer is also. And then you'll notice that score dropped down here. So they're gonna, they know they're gonna have to, you know, work harder to get those right to be able to pass. And then once they are done, then um, the next day, you know, when they come to the task, it'll show that this one is done and they'll be able to move on to the next one. So CTC math really is super easy, not only for you as the homeschool parent, but it's really easy for the kids as well. My kids have had no difficulties just logging on themselves and getting to their math each day. I don't have to get it set up for them. I don't have to, you know, make sure that they're doing the videos and the questions. It pretty much is set up that, you know, they have to do it the way you want them to do it and to get the amount right that you want. And you really have control as the homeschool parent on this, which I really, really enjoy with the CTC math. So I encourage you to give CTC Math a try. Go to their website. I have a link in the description below. You can go to their website and click on that free trial and see how well it's going to work for your family as well. Thank you for watching. Happy homeschooling.